Vulturites! This can't be a coincidence. How'd they know about this place? Information is relatively cheap on Farley. You just have to know where to shop. Still, does it feel right? You up for a little skull busting? Always! Looks like the Farleys are trying to tear the joint apart. They're trying to stop us from learning the location of the artifact. Let's talk and more trigger pulling. That's the spirit. Let's give them hell, Cal. for a room with a huge screen keep your radio open I'll guide you through it I found the room you were talking about. The big screen says system offline. Right. Well, first of all, we're going to have to set the antennas so they chase your signal. If Elena can transfer the signal frequencies or dictate them to you, you can calibrate the frequency mainframe, which is in the next room. Talk it out with Yelena. I'm kind of busy here. Yelena, do you read? I need... I'm already on it, Commander. Follow my markers. I'll give you the frequencies when we reach the mainframe.
That mean. Now all you need to do is trigger the triangulation process from the control room. Ah, oh, come on! What's wrong, Cal? The power just went off, again. What the hell did you do down there? Nothing. The power went off after I calibrated the mainframe. The system hasn't been started in years, probably just overloaded. Simple restart ought to do the trick. Uploading markers. Good.
I'm back in the control room. Everything seems to be up and functional. What next? Next is you pressing the big magic button on the control panel. You can't miss it. I'll receive. See this reading over here? Ten to one says that's the toy for which you and your lady are looking. Perfect. Thanks. Let's not crack open the champagne yet. We still got a ways to go. We? You think I intend to slink back to my watering hole and miss out on the jolly times ahead? Your call, but our deal was just for the- Cow, as fun as it is to lose myself to inebriation while debating intergalactic politics of bygone eras with old convicts waiting in bars for their time to die. I think I'd rather shoot at things with my old friend. Yelena! Yes, ma'am. We've got coordinates and we're en route to the artifact. Prepare evac. Roger that. There's an old mech compound nearby, if we're lucky. Say no more. Transmitting the coordinates for the mech compound. I'll meet you outside.
storm is settling down. Try to paralyze it! Lockdown now. Shutting down the main generator might reset the locking mechanisms. Paralyze the power module. Let's move. Look at these low lives stealing scrap. Rufus! Remember her friend, the one with the 
Well, you know. With the what? You know, the spectacular. Remember, and we were all out one night, we snuck on the base, and I was trying to show off, and I ended up blowing one of our comm satellites up in orbit, remember? And the whole night sky, it was like a freaking oil painting all of a sudden, you remember? Was it Megan? Was there a Megan? Al? I don't know her name, but it never did. What the hell do you mean? She never told me her name. You're kidding me! I am not. You were with her for what? Like months? A year? Something. And you never learned her name. That's right. What the hell did you call her that? I don't know. Name. Whatever crossed my mind. The answer to all of them. That's kind of messed up. That was kind of our thing. Close, but not close. But close. So whatever happened to her? War broke out. We left Theta. That's what happened to her. Never think you're going back? What? Track her down? Call her up? Hey, how you been? That's right. Thought about it. Say I then what? Then you say, hey you with no name, let's go grab some nachos. What do you mean? What? Okay, and after that? Then you eat the nachos. What are some drinks? Go back to our place, meet our parents, get married. Are you serious? Yeah, make some little babies. Move to one of those eight, seven homes. Finally, get some peace and drink it quiet. Spend your morning staring into those green eyes. Eight, seven rooms? Yeah. Those are those artificial moons you like, right? Love those things. Let them touch the paradise. Who are we talking about here, Rufus? You or me? What's the difference, mate? Right. right.
delivery service. Place the Volterites are more entertaining than the low life. Speaking of low life, heads up! You are too late, Gal Warden. You! I've been dying to have a word with you! The artifact you seek is now in Volterite hands. As we converse, it is being transported to Volteron to be reappropriated into a devastating weapon of catastrophic power. Yeah, yeah, we'll get back to that in a sec. Tell me this, before you told Yelena, who knew about the Boreas artifact? Only the Judger Council possessed the information you mentioned. Then maybe you can explain how the Volterites stayed a few steps ahead of us during this goose chase. How is it that everywhere I go, there they are? How did they even know about this artifact? What you are suggesting is... What I'm suggesting is that you judges should do some house cleaning. One of you is helping the Volterites build that weapon of catastrophic power. A judger would never do such as you describe. We are impartial. We observe. We correct. We balance. Yeah? Well, maybe this is someone's idea of a correction. It was your people who first recovered one of the artifacts. Your people who activated it, alerting the Volterites to its very existence and potential. And what about the other two? The artifact on Therius? The one here on Boreas? Who alerted the Volterites to those? Your words are the words of a being scrambling to shake off the shackles of blame, Cal Warden. My message to you is simple. Listen to me. It is you who will listen, for I speak as the voice of the judges, and we shall be heard. If the weapon on Volteron becomes functional, we will be forced to pass judgment upon your races. We will find you both guilty of endangering the very fabric of this universe. With our goal being the protection of life and the integrity of this dimension, we shall be forced to sentence you both to oblivion. What the hell are you saying? We shall forever erase all traces of both human and Volterite civilizations, rendering it as though neither of your two young races ever evolved. Ha! Huh. I assure you that such a measure is well within our power, and we will not hesitate to see this through. You could stop this! If you're so powerful, if you wanted to, you could stop the Volterites from building that weapon! Indeed we could. But you are the ones who must prove that you have the strength and the resolve to stop yourselves from pushing the galaxy to the brink of destruction. You must demonstrate that you have it in you to correct your mistakes. Only then will we show you clemency. Travel to Volteron and destroy the weapon. Do this, and the future might yet hold a place for you. Do not, and you will be erased from history. What do you choose, Cal Warden? What kind of sick super being sits back and twiddles its thumbs while the little guys run around and do their dirty work? We need an answer from you, and we need it now. Fine. Good. Your decision pleases us. There may still be hope for humans and Volterites. The Prometheus. Yes, Cal Warden. When it's all said and done, when the dust settles... Yes? You're going to teleport me to Theta, and you're going to get me one of those H7 moons. I'm going to settle down there and, I don't know, get a dog, start a family or something, and then you're all going to leave me the hell alone. <laughs>